It can also remember things now, so... Hello. Studio Pro 10.12 is out, and this is the next medium term support release. So strap in, because we're launching some big new features. Studio Pro 10.12 is the next medium term support release, or MTS. An MTS is a minor version that's released about every six months after a new major version release. You can find the roadmap and explanation of upcoming Studio Pro releases in the documentation. Capture the Flag is back. More than 250 people have already signed up to join this security event on October 10 and 11th. Teaming up with the S-Unit, Lowcode Academy, and Cobium, we're challenging you to hack your way to the top by finding and exploiting vulnerabilities in Mendix apps, especially prepared by security experts. Next to hacking challenges, we're hosting several workshops about security, so you can learn everything you need to know about security in Mendix, avoiding common pitfalls, and building more secure apps. You can join the CTF in our Mendix office in Rotterdam, but be quick because there are limited seats available in the office. If you couldn't find a spot or you're not able to make it in person, you could also join online and follow along with the presentations and workshops remotely. So register at pwnparty.nl and let's go break it. I'm thrilled to announce today that we're launching Maya, short for Mendix Artificial Intelligence Assistance. Maya is our brand new AI powered assistant built to help developers throughout their app development lifecycle in three key areas, guidance, assistance, and generation. Maya is the grown up version of Mendix Chat that is faster and provides better answers in a more readable format. It can also remember things now, so you can have more meaningful conversations. For guidance, you can use Maya Chat by asking it development questions through its chat feature. It can provide real-time contextual recommendations to help you create and model apps. To get assistance, you can use the following three features. The Logic Recommender, formerly known as the Logic Bot, the Best Practice Recommender, formerly known as the Best Practice Bot, and the Workflow Recommender, a new feature to help you build workflows, which is now available in beta. Maya can also help you generate parts of your application directly from Studio Pro and automate certain development tasks. These capabilities are there to help you speed up your development process, as well as improve consistency and quality. Like the Translations Generator, to make sure you translate every single text in your app, you can now translate untranslated texts in one go from the batch translate window in a smart way, remembering all your parameters and their locations. No more untranslated texts. And lastly, Maya will also power two new features in the online community. On the forum, you can use Maya Rewrites to optimize your posts and Maya Summary to find answers faster when browsing a question with several long answers. And while this is already a lot of AI support, we're only just getting started. Stay tuned for more generative AI features in future releases. Mendix is a great platform to develop smart apps, which are context-aware, intelligent, and proactive. With the previously released OpenAI and Bedrock connectors, customers are already creating AI chatbots with Mendix, for example. With the new conversational UI module, we're making this even easier. It seamlessly works with the OpenAI and Bedrock connectors and allows you to build conversational experiences in your apps. This includes the integration of data from the app itself or from other systems. To enable faster experimentation and shorten time to market with smart apps, we've made the OpenAI and Bedrock connectors drag and drop compatible. You can now quickly replace one connector with the other. This allows you to try out a setup with GPT-4.0 from OpenAI and then replace that with, for example, Anthropic's Claude 3 through Bedrock. You can use this to quickly test if another model works better for your use case. Most models available through OpenAI and Amazon Bedrock are supported, allowing for extensive experimentation. For AI chatbot use cases, you can now use an app template, the AI Bot Starter app. You can find it on the marketplace and when you create a new app in the developer portal and Studio Pro. Out of the box, it supports both OpenAI and Bedrock. You can upload a PDF for analysis and inquiry, and it can either be used as is or completely tuned to your company's needs. This template is a quick route to a private chat TPT-like experience, which enables your organization to very quickly get started with generative AI. With these new features, Mendix is now an even better platform to create smart apps. 
the AI Bot Starter app is available for Studio Pro 10.12. The connectors and the conversational UI module are compatible with both 9.24 LTS and 10.12. I'm excited to announce a brand new feature called Software Composition. This much requested capability is finally here to give you full transparency into your app's building blocks. Think of it as an X-ray for your applications. It lets you see all the component dependencies that are used to build Mendix applications. Standard modules, widgets, Java libraries, NPM packages, and runtime versions. Here are three ways software composition makes your life easier. First of all, you can find a complete inventory of your component dependencies in the control center. No more digging around. You can find a similar view for your individual apps by opening the app in the developer portal and going to the software composition page. Second, you can easily identify the blast radius of vulnerabilities and analyze component usage to notify technical contexts to fix potential vulnerabilities based on Mendix security advisories. And third, say goodbye to unwanted components because you can easily detect blacklisted or disapproved components used in your landscape. New deployment packages created with compatible versions of Studio Pro will automatically give you visibility into software composition. So try it out now. For more details, check out the software composition blog at mendix.com blog. Studio Pro 10.12 is a lot faster. For example, changing documents is faster, and right-click actions now feel as responsive and smooth as they should. Next to better performance, we are releasing extensibility as a public beta. If you've ever wanted to create your own piece of functionality to improve your Studio Pro experience, Extensions makes this possible. Here are some examples of what you can do with the Extensibility API. You can add custom components and views in the interface of Studio Pro like a Microflow hierarchy tree, similar to the MenDetect Microflow Call hierarchy extension. You can add automatic renaming functionality so your document names adhere to your standards and best practices. You could also view your internal quality tools directly in Studio Pro. And you can even integrate with external tools, like the Team Center extension makes this possible for Team Center. And these are just a couple of examples. But how do you actually do it? You can create extensions with C Sharp and create your own DLLs that can be added to your application. These DLLs allow you to create extensions both with and without UI. The UI extensions use web technology like React.js, for example, so you can use technologies that you're used to to create the best experience for extension developers. This way, you'll be able to create custom functionality for Studio Pro for every developer who works on your applications. You can even ship extensions as add-on modules, so you can create and publish them just like other Marketplace content. For more details, examples, and how-tos about what you can do with the Extensions API right now, check out the documentation. Try it out and let us know what you think. It is now possible to pass primitive values from pages to microflows and nanoflows. This is one of the most requested features on the Idea Forum. You can now use expressions to set primitive values as arguments, like a string or Boolean, use functions, and even follow associations. You can use these values for calling actions, just like in data sources based on microflows and nanoflows. The advantage is that microflows and nanoflows can now more easily be used and reused when they have primitive parameters, because they can be called directly from a page. For example, if there are multiple buttons to change the status of an attribute. Before primitive values, this would require a microflow per button you now only need one microflow that has the status as a primitive parameter and pass that from the button. Simple and straightforward. Logic that has primitive parameters can usually be more easily reused because it's not tied to the domain model. Thank you Jelle Decker, Lauren Steffers, Christian Westgeest, and Christian Engel for suggesting this feature on the Idea Forum. We hope you enjoy this time saver. Mendix applications rely on sessions to manage user logins. These sessions automatically expire when a user closes their browser tabs or becomes inactive after a certain time. While this approach improves security by minimizing session exposure, it can sometimes negatively impact a user's experience. For native mobile apps, Mendix uses authentication tokens to refresh sessions in the background. We're excited to announce that we now support these authentication tokens across all clients, native mobile, progressive web apps, and regular web apps. 
You can now more easily keep users logged in for extended periods, and even model a custom login page where users can choose whether their authentication should be remembered. Mendix has a new partnership with Snowflake, all about data and AI. New and updated connectors, as well as a brand new showcase app, are now available in the Mendix marketplace. The external database connector supports Snowflake and now is general available with key pair authentication as its latest addition. The Snowflake REST SQL connector received an update with an association between connection details and the account entity with OAuth as another authentication option. These new options let you use Snowflake's role-based access control and keeps your data safe when building Mendix apps on top of Snowflake data. The Mendix data loader is something completely different. This is for the data engineer, your partner in crime. We make their lives easier by assisting them in creating a pipeline between a Mendix app and the Snowflake data cloud. This way, the Mendix app data can easily be shared across your organization. This application is available in the Snowflake marketplace, downloadable and deployed in an organization's Snowflake environment. In that environment, you can configure the connector by specifying the exposed OData resource of your Mendix app. This can then be scheduled when you need it. To help you in your Mendix and Snowflake journey, you can check out the Snowflake Showcase in the Marketplace to see all the connectivity options. For any code you write, every commit increases the size of your version control repository, and the MPR storage format amplifies this effect. Unlike SVN, Git clones the entire repository by default, which makes cloning increasingly time-consuming as the repository grows. Mendix 10.12 has a solution for this with a public beta feature called partial cloning. This lets you choose between a full clone, optimized for offline usage, and a partial clone designed for quick startup. You can set your preference for a cloning type directly from the app launcher, which affects new clones and additional branch downloads. Because of this new option, we have further eased migration restrictions, which will be removed once the partial cloning feature is out of beta. In the upcoming months, we'll be updating the MPR format to limit repository growth. This will initially be rolled out to new apps with availability for all apps later this year. These improvements complement the partial cloning feature and provides a more streamlined and efficient version control experience. For all you aspiring expert developers out there, the expert certification process is now a lot easier. With just a few clicks, you can add your motivation letter in PDF format and register. Once you've registered, you'll be guided through the new payment process, which supports Google Pay, Ideal, credit card, and many other payment options. After a successful payment, your registration will be confirmed and you can directly book your preferred time slot and add it to your calendar. The new payment options are now available for all exams. What is your next exam? Go to academy.menix.com certifications and book yours now. And that's it for this video. For a full list of new features, improvements, and fixes, check out the release blog on menix.com blog or read the release notes on docs.menix.com. Download Studio Pro 10.12 at marketplace.menix.com to use all these new features right now. What do you think of a longer video like this? Let us know in the comments, or on LinkedIn, or on Slack. Either way, make sure you subscribe to get the latest videos. I'm Jan de Vries, your low-code host, and I'll see you in the next video. And that's it for this video. For a full list of new features, improvements, and fixes, check out the blog on ma sempa. <laughs> Nah, it's in that. Shots.